Welcome to Estate Planning Basics with Larry Parman. Mr. Parman is the CEO and founder of Parman and Easterday, a law firm that practices exclusively in estate planning, elder law, and business succession planning. In this series, Mr. Parman will dive deep into important aspects of estate planning, challenges in the realm of elder law, and tips on how to successfully transition your business. Here's Larry Parman. Hi, Larry Parman here. I'm actually in Rockland, Maine. I just finished a wonderful lunch at uh, Archer's on the pier. Had a lobster roll for salad, some onion strings, coleslaw, fabulous. Look out over this beautiful view, it's fantastic. Anyway, today I just want to share a quick message with you because a couple days ago, the Internal Revenue finally issued their final regulations on inherited IRAs and when people have to take money out. So you may remember just in terms of the basics that when we take money out of IRAs, we have to begin required minimum distributions by April 1st. In the year after we turn age 73. But what about people who inherit IRAs? That was the big question. You know, they eliminated stretch IRAs where we used to be able to take distributions out over our life expectancy. Now we have to take them out within 10 years. So they answered one very important question. But before I get to that, there are a few exceptions to that 10 year rule. There are four cases where we are what are called eligible designated beneficiaries. So for example, the spouse, or you have a child who's not yet reached the age of majority, someone who's disabled or chronically ill, or someone who's less than 10 years younger than the deceased person who owned the IRA. So those are the exceptions. The 10 year rule does not apply to them. But for the people who the 10 year rule does apply to, it would be anyone other than those four categories. The IRS now says, well, if the person, if the deceased person, the owner of the IRA had not yet started their required minimum distribution, then in that case, you can wait and take the distribution out any time during that 10 year period, but the account has to be emptied in total by the end of the 10 years. However, if the deceased IRA owner had started their required minimum distributions, then the beneficiary of the inherited IRA must take them out each year based on their life expectancy. So some rules are cleared up now about when we have to take those distributions. The point is it's very important to determine whether or not the deceased IRA owner had started required minimum distributions. So anyway, appreciate you being with us. A great time here in Maine. Back in the office soon. Thanks for tuning in. Larry Parman, signing out. If you would like to learn more about creating an estate plan for your family, protecting your assets if you have to go into a nursing home, or transitioning your business, call 405-843-6100 or send an email to info at parmalaw.com. That's 405-843-6100 and info at parmalaw.com. Thank you.